so i understand uh, see in scrum uh, they all work towards one goal and it's not an individual teamwork or something like that or focused on individuals but eventually when it translates to doing work um, though the complexity was a are you saying that the tester should also keep in interest the uh, the amount of work needed by the developer and still go with eight story points even though the testers work would just be around one day got it so uh, see idea here is place. when we talk about a size it says that the understanding of size is from backlog to done whatever your definition of done whatever it takes in between should be included in it whatever is definition of done so if it includes testing if it includes yeah. documentation if it includes data migration some script upgrade some automation script upgrade whatever it takes it's a final number yeah so now when we are saying but yeah you know there are different functions in the team and that may require a different amount of time so the idea here is and why i ask this it's a cross functional team now it might be needed initially when you are thinking of capacity planning when you are thinking of team composition that okay i need to think of a team and how many development skills and how many test skills or how many x y z skills i needed in the team because if i don't have a clue that i may say have a six testers and four developers or a six developers and four testers or maybe a eight developer and two tester yeah so how do i identify that you know how, what kind of a skill i need to put into that so that is something i would say is a is a subject is an important area to look into the capacity planning of your your team or a skill planning of your team once that is done yeah, once that is done it is all about they, this whole team is trying to find out something and they need to collaborate in order to get this story marked done now if you see again there is a gap coming in there is always a queue on the testing side or there is always a queue on the development side that it may required to reshuffle the skills in the development team you might need to include more dev or test skills so that overall work start start moving towards finishing because here the intent is not that that you know i have 10 testers i will take the testers as many i needed i have a 10 developers i will take a developers as many i needed and then i will put it and then once the work is over i will find some other testers so we used to do in traditional project management understanding that any given uh, work will take how much dev time how much test time how much review time how much ux time because we were doing capacity planning separately in a different different buckets we were doing dev capacity planning separate test separate ui separate but now it's a one group they have a common goal and they need to figure it out but having said that at the initial stage you need to have that understanding because based on the nature of the product overall yeah they, it might be going here and there uh, uh, frequently but that will not change my team composition yeah. so as a whole team i need to put a number and as a whole team they need to do an estimation does this clarify things yes, okay. so that that that's that's a good input to this um uh, this area that i wanted to have more clarity but what i'm talking about is a single piece of work say you have a single piece of work that that uh, the team overall somehow has convinced like a team of ba developer and tester they have convinced each other that this is a 10 point to a uh, 10 story point work now but when it comes to say it's a uh, it's a typical uh, development piece of work uh so the developer may take um uh, eight days to complete the work the tester may take one day the uh, the ba may take two days initially to design the uh, the stories and all of that so uh it it is still two days versus eight days versus uh, um one day uh, of tester so is it this this story point is it a summation of all these pieces of work or is it just irrespective of that just that the the overall complexity of the work is you know um this high yeah so what is the difference between the last two statements so what i said what what you said one is that is the story point is a summation of the business analysis development and test effort and the second thing he says is the story point just tells me the complexity of work what is the difference between these two 
so the the first one um, is more or less close to the waterfall kind of estimation the second one is uh, uh, you know irrespective of who does the work uh, it focuses on the requirement more than the team and uh, what we want to do in story point right? merge these two so technically these two is the meaning of it so when i say uh, eight points or a 10 points it includes all the skills effort inside it yeah so it's like uh, in a way you can say everything come together this is what it will uh, emerge to and it is looked from the complexity perspective so for example the the test skill person may say you know this looks like difficult to test to me than the previous story i have tested which was a, a five story point and now for me the five story point was was taking me to write 20 possible scenarios but this one is looking like a 40 possible scenarios it's fair more complex than me so i won't why i would not be comfortable giving five to it i will be comfortable giving eight to it so now what he is looking at he is looking at what he contributed in a five pointer story yeah similarly the business analyst guy will say that for me this looks like easier than the five pointer thing because i have a less complexity of of work involved and the developer may say for me it is looking like more or less the same like five pointer story now they need to discuss what is the aggregate number they want to give and they may agree to give it eight that okay mm-hmm. this all is making sense let's give it to eight and then move next so the essence here is the amount of time it takes to test develop and business analyze and all those things that is considered when you are creating your team yeah so if you think in a given work there is a triple the time of development less time of testing then you put a three developer and one tester so that automatically take care of the flow of work mm-hmm. yeah but it is not like oh this mm-hmm. is a work i need to give three developers to it and one tester to it so that decision you don't have to take mm-hmm. every day you have to take that decision initially when you are doing capacity planning after that you are saying you are the all you are you know i don't know it's the more testing work or less testing work but finally you just have these many test skills these many business analysis skills and these many developers like that sure 